you ever been hungry? I mean, really hungry? Recently, I saw a sign which read as follows. Hunger, an adjective describing a man who makes jokes about women in the kitchen. Well, in today's 180 degree Bible study, we're going to see scripture that describes a man who angered God in the way that he dealt with food. In today's lesson, we're going to find out that in this place of hunger, we can often find grace from God. But first, some personal sharing. There is a way that we intentionally suffer hunger. It's called fasting. Take a moment in your groups to discuss what it means to fast and why we practice it during the season of Lent. Fasting is one of the ways in which we have a chance to experience something called FROG. FROG is an acronym for Fully Rely on God. When we deny ourselves, deny ourselves food or any pleasure, it gives us a chance to really think about um, our relationship to God. In the passage that you're about to read from 1 Kings, you are going to hear about a man by the name of Ahab. He was the king of Israel in the middle of the 9th century BC. And instead of fasting, he was a person who actually took instead of denied himself. Well, as you read, God is going to have an encounter with him. In his time of hunger, he is going to have a chance to understand God's grace. As a group, read 1 Kings chapter 21, the account of King Ahab and God's encounter with him as he fasted. After the reading, take some time as a group to discuss some questions. Each person can share and reflect with each of the questions or, or just listen. But during these questions, meditate on how it is that God shows his grace to us in times when we are hungry. God refrains. Just as when we fast, we refrain from eating or enjoying certain pleasures, God also refrains from dealing out his justice upon us. In the account that we just read of King Ahab, God refrained from dealing out his justice upon him. Instead, when he saw Ahab fasting and going about meekly, he had mercy on him. We also understand from today that when God sees us suffering, just as Christ suffered, he has mercy on us. When we fast, we can always remember Jesus' own suffering for us, but also know that there are proper ways to fast and there are improper ways to fast. Fasting in acknowledgement of God um, is always the good fast. There was a time in my life when I fast for improper reasons. I had an eating disorder, and in that time I, I felt terrible about myself, and was weak and, and caused myself some, some, actually some problems. But knowing that we can fast because we're merely giving thanks to God, we want to rely on Him to give us the blessings, to reaffirm us, is always a good reason to fast. Not because we want anything from God, but we fast because He has given us everything and we only want to remember what He's given us. So as you reflect on the story of God's love for King Ahab during this Lenten season, remember that you have a God who refrains from punishing us, but gives abundantly to us all that we need so that we fully rely on God.